Hey there, what is going on? This is Rob from PanthroVision. Today I want to show you how to create this glossy, kind of diamond, colorful effect in Photoshop. I saw this ongoing trend on YouTube, on Instagram, that everyone is trying to create colorful, uh, peerless chant, uh, metallic kind of stuff, you know, and they're trying really hard. So I decided to jump in and approach this from another angle. So let's jump in. Uh, we got a black background. Now I'm just gonna copy paste the, the logo which I made a while ago for a client. So I'm gonna scale this up. As you can see, you can't see nothing because it's a bit black. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna double click on the logo. First thing, we're gonna apply the trickery on this logo. We're gonna go to bevel and emboss. I'm gonna increase the depth and the size. Little. What is going on? Oh yeah, color overlay because uh, mine was like a black logo. So I checked the color over overlay and this way it adds a white. So I'm gonna go to back to the bevel and the boss and uh, select the size. So basically we're on inner bevel, smooth, chisel hard. Of course, this uh, the chisel hard works really good on, on the serif types okay on the serif types i also gonna increase the softness a little uh on one let me check this a little bit um no no mm, yeah or the original okay i'm gonna go with the original because i really don't like these actually this one is pretty good so i'm gonna leave it on this one and click okay Okay, we're gonna save this. So uh, press go to file, save as, and save as a displacement map. So I'm gonna type in disp4 and make sure it's on Photoshop file, PSD file. Uncheck the layer because we won't, we don't, we don't need everything here. So click on save. Okay, we can uncheck this layer and we're gonna create a new layer and we're gonna color this up with all kind of colors. So select the brush which is somewhere here or just press the letter B. Press and hold Alt, right click and just to drag this so you can scale up the brush size. Okay, I'm gonna go to the colors. I'm gonna increase this and select some colors and paint it really colorful, you know? I'm gonna color this up and speed the process up a little. Okay, so this is how it looks and we're gonna mix, mix these colors up a little more I'm gonna create a new copy of this. I'm gonna press ctrl C ctrl V so you can see two layers going on Actually this way you can see both work together um, I'm gonna create a new layer here with actually I'm gonna go here and go to solid color and uh, Just go with a black background. So this has its own black background and uh, select, select all of these, right click and merge a layer. So we got one single layer. I'm gonna create a new copy. So um, not this, control C, control V. So I'm left with an original copy. I won't touch this one. So, uh, so right click on this, convert to smart object. And from here, we gonna mix this up a little more. Go to filter, liquify. I'm gonna go with this twirly thing, twirl clockwise tool. And I'm gonna just rotate this a little. So as you can see, it starts to um, create some holes also in there. So I'm gonna go with uh, the, what is this forward warp tool and just modify these back. Anyways, I think I ruined it, but um, <laughs> I'm just gonna go with it. Click OK. Oh my God, it looks really bad. But uh, yeah, now we're gonna go to the filter, distort, displace. I gotta go with 200 and per 200. So uh, we got horizontal scale versus vertical scale. The horizontal scale is gonna uh, distort it horizontally and the vertical is gonna distort it vertically. So it's gonna distort it in two ways, but you also can adjust the numbers. Anyway, it's just gonna test it out with 200 per 200. Click OK and select the displacement map, which basically you, see, you saved it before in PSD file and click on open. Wow. 
All right, seems seems like it worked out pretty successfully this time. Okay, so this is mainly the effect. Uh, you also have the logo, the original logo here, as you can see. So this is the original logo. We're gonna need this now. So go back to uh, this layer with the colors and all the effects and press and hold control and go to the original logo and click on the thumbnail of the logo, not on the text, on the thumbnail. As you can see, it's gonna show a little uh, hand. Click on it, now it's selected the, the logo and create a mask. So basically it masked, uh, it created the mask uh, on, on this layer with the effects. And this is how we achieve a really colorful effect. So we're gonna need to double click on this layer with all the stuff we created with the distortions and liquify stuff. Uh, just apply the bevel and emboss. And let's see, we're gonna change the colors. I don't even know what. Uh, I gotta go with what happens if I put like this. But yeah, these you really need to test it out to see how it's gonna turn out, you know, and what magic it is going to create. I like the combination between this uh, green and purple. That's badass, actually. Uh, mainly this was the effect to you know to decrease the size to decrease the depth to change the colors so this is how the effect is gonna look you also can uh, can change the screen to see what happens for example this is on a difference Whoa. so anyway choose something that creates a little bit of higher contrast hard light is not that bad Actually, I'm gonna go, you know, with yellow and perp. So I'm planning to go with pin light. So if I decrease the opacity, it's gonna look like this. If I increase the opacity, it's gonna add the strong pink. Oh yeah, you can add another gradient overlay. And uh, the gradient colors are like these colorful stuff. I think I found it in the reds. Yeah, there you go. Click on it, increase the opacity, you can decrease it. As you can see, it's gonna change it into a warmer color. See, this way is warmer, this, this way is cooler. And you also can change the soft color maybe to overlay. This is stronger, soft is softer, click OK. And mainly this is how you achieve it, but uh, honestly, I like it better wait a sec without the bevel and emboss and yeah mainly this is it thanks for watching if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the other videos have a good one bye bye